I, I grew up in a church tradition with a very strong emphasis on the King James Version of the Bible. Uh, so it's very poetic language, very uh, traditional old English and sometimes hard to understand. Um, but I think especially in the King James Version, just the, the book of Psalms has always been a, a go-to because of that kind of very poetic flow, the words, the language, the, the raw emotions and like the real heights and depths of the human experience that you can just always kind of relate to and connect to. So that's um, always something in my church um, that we've kind of been reading and I'm drawn to. And, and personally, a lot more the last few years, I've really been drawn to the Gospels. It's just something amazing, just reading about the life of Jesus, kind of hearing him speak, seeing how he interacted, seeing like the totality, his, his sadness, his joys, his ups and downs, his daily life, his rhythms, that, that's always amazing. As an early Christian, uh, around 19 years ago, I'd be drawn to the Gospels as I wanted to know more about the life of Jesus and how he lived his life on earth. But today I read from both the Old and New Testaments, each morning and also from the Psalms. Uh, the things that signpost hope and reconciliation are, are things that really seem to draw me. And the threads that run throughout the Old Testament that signpost who Jesus is in the New Testament are something that just really excites me when you, when you catch a glimpse of Jesus in the Old Testament, almost like playing Where's Wally, you know? <laughs> I feel like there's so much to unpack within the Bible that all the different books have something to say that's relevant, uh, particularly the Gospels, because I like to read about Jesus, his life, his interactions. I feel like I get a lot from that. And I really like Revelations because it feels like it's unpacking the story of the Bible from the beginning until the end, and it gives that hope of what's to come. Uh, Revelation opens up the doors um, and opens up your eyes to hope that we, to the hope that we have in Jesus. This is the thing I love the most about our faith, um, that I'm drawn to those stories of people who are not great figures, and very small and insignificant people. Um, people who God takes and makes them very significant and then does amazing things through them. Uh, we can look at the 12, there was a job interview, they would all fail it. And I just love that thing. And it's a fantastic thing that when you're discipling this modern day, in modern times, to take someone and just point out that thing that all through the Bible, the narrative is, God takes small things and does great things through them. It flows all the way through the Bible. Ordinary people who think they're insignificant just purely by the power of faith and God doing amazing things. A lot of the Old Testament leads towards Jesus' life and he fulfills a lot of that in his life in the New Testament. And the book of Psalms, um, the reason for that is that I just find that the Psalms are really, really real. You know, there's Psalms that are really focusing on worship where it says, sing to the Lord a new song. But then there's also Psalms that are written in times of great suffering and great doubt that say, where are you, Lord? And so in those times where you think you're far away from God, the Psalms really helped me to think it's okay to feel like that.